Okay, so we are really super happy to be here today with you. So we meet again now in Zoom, not too much on the, on the platform. Um, shaping a desirable future with cross innovation. We were really happy when we were approached by cross innovation conference to give this um, talk and this small uh, workshop together, because it's a really like a, a topic that is close to our hearts. Manu, can you click? Yeah. Um, we are uh, Nouveau Applied Futures. I'm Amrei Andras. I'm partner and learning experience designer at Nouveau. And um, Manuel Funk, um, strategic foresight partner and uh, co-founder also of um, Nouveau Applied Futures. And we are a so-called transformation and futures consultancy from Berlin. And what we do is, next one. Um, we make time travels. We make time travels with um, our clients, with teams, with individual um, persons to discover and explore desirable future scenarios. And we do this um, by um, guiding the people through our future modeling framework. So we developed a standardized framework, which we will introduce you um, a bit later, um, consisting of three phases, um, nine steps and two time zones. But it's more than this, it's also like um, leadership capabilities. So while walking through this framework, you learn capabilities that you need to be future ready. Let's call it like this. And um, we offer this in strategic time travels um, for um, corporations. Um, in workshops and sprints or longer programs, including research and consulting. And on the other side, as we also then realized that it's important that we don't just do this in teams, but that we also learn this as an individual person, we developed a future modeling academy um, where you can certify as a future modeling architect or also make smaller courses to dive into the capabilities of uh, future readiness. And we traveled already with quite some um, clients, like um, explored the futures of healthcare with big corporations and um, also the futures of engineering or um, the futures of oceans with an impact um, startup accelerator in Norway, one really big important topic to our hearts too. And the most important topic actually where we had quite some um, clients so far was the futures of education. Um, because we think that we need to change how we look at the things and how we also educate um, the youth, but also us grown ups, how to um, become an active part in creating those desirable futures. And um, we give lectures there or workshops and uh, mentorships at those universities. And now I and, hand over to um... you. Yeah, and so far we traveled with over a thousand people to the future, uh, mostly managers, but not all of them. Um, and you can apply future modeling to any topic. Um, there's no limitation. You can explore this, the future of Hamburg, the future of the, the planet, the future of every topic. And especially in complex environments, um, it it's... Uh, really fun to explore the future, but it's also um, very complex. And for example, with Takeda, this pharmaceutical company, um, we learned that different countries and different fields of pharmaceutical um, um, markets um, have correlations. And therefore we um, developed the future matrix, which is a systemic map of different future scenarios. And we combine them and also open up discussions with a lot of people you can right now we have a project with over 800 people involved exploring uh, the future of uh, real estate so the combination as Amrai said of this standardized framework and the capabilities um, is really um, our approach which we developed four years ago um, and it was really important for us to standardize the process because um, therefore we can repeat sessions, um, we can um, very quickly come to uh, results, but as in, in any other um, iterative agile process, you can um, jump in again and um, twist some, some hypothesis, for example, and get totally different results. And this is also what, what we are aiming for. This is um 
Absolutely result driven. That's why we also call ourselves applied futures. We want um, not only interesting scenarios, we, we want um, the application, the implementation of these um, insights into decisions and future ready organizations, future ready services and products. And that's also where we come from. Um, we've been consulting a lot of companies in the field of innovation as also, also cross innovation and we learned that a lot of these um, briefings and projects um, are not heading for long time long term developments they're really focused on short term apps and services which is great um, design thinking is basically um, was a revolution in that field but since we are now facing a lot of changes in the market, uh, we thought and experienced that we needed a um, framework to handle all these tasks. Um, and future modeling is not only standardized, it's always focused on long-term um, strategies. It's a co-creative pro process. You can do this with five people or with 500 if you want. Um, and we also only focus on um, desirable futures. We are not interested in dystopias because if you um, watch the news, you, you have dystopias enough. And also a lot of business meetings are focusing on things which are not working, which are critical, etc. What we want to focus on is desirable futures, a positive um, um, constructive solution to handle all these challenges uh, we are right now facing. Uh, you can download the future modeling basic process for free. It's uh, licensed under Creative Commons. Just go to the website futuremodeling.com. And all workshops, whatever you do with this process um, is headed to, to one question. Um, so it's all about future readiness. Um, is your organization future ready? Is our society future ready? Um, are you personally future ready? Are you prepared for changes um, which are coming up? And this is not only tech, a lot of changes are driven by technologies, but um, as we all <laughs> experience right now, we also have other things like Corona crisis and the climate crisis and um, a lot of social and um, and other issues, um, which not not only we as as a society, but also every organization, every company should focus on to be future ready in the sense that you, as a company, even survive. And this changes um, lead to paradigm shifts in our opinion in all markets um, and in all industries, meaning that a lot of um, current business models and a lot of current innovation processes will not work on the long term. Which means um, a lot of companies and we've experienced this dozens of times invest millions of, of money into um, innovations which in maybe even two or three years are not needed anymore. And what, what we are focusing on together with our clients is desirable futures beyond these paradigm shifts. Um, and this is um, a sometimes really abstract number in the future, which year is the, is the future starting? We don't know and it also doesn't matter. Um, the only thing which matters is we always travel beyond the paradigm shift because the current system, the old systems, um, as we experience um, right now in, in the Corona pandemic, um, have a dramatic power um, to future markets. And um, we should focus our attention at least once a while once in a while on our assumption of how the future and the positive future um, might evolve and what could be our role as a human or our role as an organization in this future scenario. And that's what we're talking about. 
And one thing uh, which you heard probably um, before, um, for sure, it's impossible to uh, predict futures. Um, even if, if some companies pretend that they exactly know what will happen, um, it's basically impossible. Um, there are so many possibilities and the future is changing constantly and in a very um, high pace. So it's more or less a waste of time trying to predict the future. But what we can do is we can shape futures. We can um, actively imagine um, um, positive futures as a society or as an organization. And then we have a clear picture of where we want to go and focus all energies in this, on, on this long-term goal. So it's about um, this, we call it future compass, the direction we want to go as a team, as a, uh, as a um, group of people sharing a, a common positive future. And one thing which, which is often um, not much talked about in, in the field of uh, foresight and future studies is the mindset. We need a, a totally clear and different mindset um, to master the future compared to the mindset we need, for example, to run a current business model. Because um, a lot of these skills we are also teaching at the Future Modeling Academy, like scenario planning, storytelling, systems thinking, um, future leadership, for example, are not taught at universities and are not taught in schools. The only country in Europe teaching um, long-term thinking is the school system of Finland, but it's the only school system, I, I guess, even in the world teaching children how to think into the future. And it's, it's necessary because, as I said before, and as you all probably heard of, a lot of these developments follow a exponential curve. And when we try to follow this exponential curve, uh, our brain is tilting. It's basically impossible for our brain to think long-term and on, on an exponential level. Because our brain is uh, focused on linear thinking and it's focused on stability and safety. So we need brain hacks, we need um, tools basically, processes, because uh, otherwise, oh, sorry, this is a German headline, otherwise uh, we yearn for stable uh, conditions and we go back to the comfort zone. And probably um, talking about cross innovation, a lot of you guys uh, experience this comfort zone in innovation processes. It starts off with a big vision and we want to fight Amazon and Google and do the biggest, greatest innovation thing. And three months later, um, the big concept is shrinked down to a nice app thing. And everybody in the room knows it will not work. And to hack this, we need this mind shift. We need a, a bold process and we need time. So today, uh, this is just a first glimpse, a, a teaser of how to do this, um, inspiration also to do it yourself if you want. But you need at least, uh, we say, at least one and a half days to go into these scenarios. And mo more important uh, than the working session itself is also the reflection time, overnight sleeping it over. Because as you know, our brain every night is doing future modeling because we dream, we anticipate futures and we reflect them in our body. So enough said. Um, do you feel ready for a short time travel? A super yes. short time travel. Yes, big thumbs up. Okay, great. Thank you, Manuel. So then, um, I would say, please go try to find a setup where you can see um, the platform. And 
you see um, the first, how can I say, writer? Like the first section is the future quo section. Should I share my screen again? Maybe you shortly share it, yeah. yeah. So okay. this page uh, should be on your screen now. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we will do in the beginning is um, that we create some kind of shared um, wisdom and knowledge in the room. So um, we are starting with the future quo session. This is the blue session on the left side. And the future quo is um, based on a um, future foresight method from Soyael and Ayatollah, um, where we discover and explore the most important impacts, the, the factors that have the, have the most important impact on um, the future scenarios. And these are future images, um, signals and dri um, drivers, and barriers. These three forces, they are like a, like a triangle and the future images pull us up, signals and drivers show us and push us into one direction and the barriers hold us back to really develop this um, desirable future scenarios. And um, for example, when we think about um, cross innovation, a future images, image could be something really utopian, fantastic. There are no boundaries. It's like Manuel said, um, when you're dreaming. Um, there shouldn't be any any barriers um, that are holding you back. So a future image could be that um, in cross innovation, um, like they are really every voice is heard. Diversity and integration is completely um, normal, and we don't have to like work on um, super cross innovative processes. Let's call it like this. Or, um, Mona, do you want to add something there? Well, the most important thing is that you. Uh, do not think too much, uh, download from your intuitive side of your uh, brain and body. And this is, especially in the future image part, um, really important because our brain is constantly producing these future images, but we do not have access. Yeah. So do not think it over, just write down whatever you see, basically, after closing your eyes for a while. And um, yeah, we will give you 10 minutes to just brainstorm intuitively um, and write down your thoughts and pictures that comes to your minds in the chat. And um, we are thinking not about one specific topic, but we are thinking in general about the future. So what holds us back to create desirable futures? And you can think in, in the topics of cross innovation somehow, have this in the back of your mind. And a lot okay. of people ask us in, to which future are we traveling? Um, we usually say travel to 2030 with the exponential curve of developments in mind. So it's not too far away from, from our here and now. It's um, about 10, 15 years, but with bold um, changes in mind. Okay. So, and um, to give you a bit of an impression, what we normally do in our workshops, is um, I will shortly take over the, the screen and I put on the audio. So we work with um, sound waves. We will um, start our creation phase and um, this will be in the next um, page, the future modeling. This is the pink phase um, on the right side. We are now in the phase of creating desirable futures. And there, with all the information that we got, we take this and we go into an active um, brainstorming and a creation and scenario building in discovering really the desirable future scenarios together. And um, we will do this in um, time travel groups, smaller ones, and we'll bring you in breakout sessions. Um, where we will guide you then on the next pages and the time travel teams when you can show this Manuel, please, when you go on to yeah, be prepared for different time travel teams. And um, in these breakout sessions, so you can, you can feel like you're on a, on a separate planet and together with your team, you explore um, the desirable future. And here it's all about um, thinking systemic. Um, it's a thinking in the steep factors, which you can see in, on the previous um, page with, which is social factors. Um, no, you, you can't anymore. <laughs> no. 
it's gone. <laughs> Social yeah. factors, yeah. yeah, technological factors, economical factors, environmental factors, political factors, and values. So try to think systemic in the futures. And um, when you brainstorm and work with your colleagues, try to put all those impacts into those uh, scenarios you're creating. So and maybe um, we, we take a minute also to reflect this in the field of innovation processes. Um, as you probably all experienced, uh, a lot of innovation processes, especially in large corporations, just focus on tech and economic. Tech is, uh, okay, we need a self-driving car, we need AI algorithms, um, for example, and we need revenues. So it's all about tech and economy. Uh, at, at least a few of these processes um, focus also on, on value created for users and customers, um, thanks to uh, design thinking. But we often forget social, political, and envir envir environmental um, aspects, which in our from our um, experience um, are very important, especially now facing climate crisis and other issues. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's all about opening up also in the field of innovation, seeing the big picture, the, the systemic holistic map of what is innovative, what creates value, what have uh, to be considered uh, in terms of climate and environmental stuff. So this is all about what we do in the in the scenario creation. And it's really important to think bold, fantastic. We are not in the year 2021. It's not about um, things we know. It's not about apps. It's about uh, things which uh, seem impossible today and are still desirable and um, part of a solution to to solve some of the challenges we're facing. That's maybe an important point. Um, we are on, only and really only creating desirable futures. It's not that we are trying to be naive. We take those paradigm shifts into accountants, but um, it's really about um, creating a scenario that motivates and tries people to really take an action. And um, when you go to the, for example, the time travel team one, for an example, um, in the beginning, I would like to ask you to um, find a focal issue, like a topic in your team which you would like to explore. Um, it could help if you choose one of those deep factors that you say, um, I want to like to explore a social factor or maybe a creative factor. Um, take five minutes to discuss. You can do this verbally or um, also using the chat on the right side. And once you've, um, and just make it, make it an easy decision process. Just try to find a consent. Let's see how this works in our society where everything is over-talked. <laughs> but this can you work can, if you stay in this intuitive brainstorm. You can also pick um, an industry or a market or a product um, you want to um, reshape. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is possible. The only, the only thing which is needed from our experience is that you as in any scientific research process that you pick a point of focus because otherwise if if you talk about the, the future in general it's an endless thing it you need one year to mm -hmm. to come up with a scenario so we make it bit by bit that's right um, and since once you've done this and you scroll a bit more further down you have 15 minutes um, in this focal issue to think about the challenges, like um, what is the biggest challenge going to um, for, if you have, for example, the biggest challenge of, um, we have an example, Manuel, um, of one yeah, focal you, issue. For example, if you, if you choose mobility yeah. um, as a focal issue, then you can say, okay, what might be challenges. It could be air pollution, it could be crowded, overcrowded cities, it could be um, whatever you come up to. You collect the challenges in this field today um, and then you transfer this um, picture into the future and say, okay, do you think in the future this will be maybe be even bigger, this challenge? So it's all about reflecting these factors and uh, travel 
uh, back and forth sometimes in your mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, based on these challenges, you try to find hypotheses, um, which um, can also be like a solution for these challenges or for these problems. And some of you might know this already of this, uh, what ifs. Um, you could start your sentence with, um, what if, for example, there are no cars anymore in the future? What if um, people don't need to travel anymore because um, everything is going digitally and something like stay utopian, stay positive, try to open up think spaces with what, uh, what if questions. Also here also, have... this, is, this is really an invitation to be bold. You can also write down what if we can uh, produce invisible cars? What if we can produce cars which uh, do not need any gasoline uh, and also no electricity, for example. Um, it's really like small children imagining a world where everything is possible. Okay, and based on this, when you scroll more down, we go into short scenario building. So all the insights that you had um, from the future quo, from the challenges, the hypothesis, you just try to super fast um, with a small inspiration of the image um, on the top um, to create some kind of a scenario. Um, just to think, okay, if there is no car, maybe there is no car industry anymore going on and all the, um, all the employees that have worked in this mobility sectors are now working in social aspects. Super fast brainstorm. Now it, it doesn't have to be fully um, um, formulated. And don't forget to, to just talk and discuss. It's um, the platform and the process is basically your guideline, but it's, it's all about interaction, dialogues. Um, also maybe you have different opinions, you share your ideas and, and get to know each other um, on this conversation in, in a way where we usually do not talk about. We, we have not so many conversations about what do we believe is a desirable future in 10 years about mobility, for example. So it's about conversations and creating together a story, a story where we um, have a bold vision, where we create value for the people involved and where we somehow um, also um, try to be systemic, um, to think about different fields of this, of this focal issue. Mm -hmm. So all clear so far, Manu, Manu and me will jump into <laughs> from planet to planet and support you bit by bit. So I would like to ask Lena to send our time travelers to um, their planets. And if you are, yes. for example, in a breakout room one, you go on the um, time travel team one page on the platform and work there. 